Let's look at two examples of improper integrals. This integral is improper because it has a vertical asymptote at zero. So according to what we said in the previous video and the previous set of notes and all that, we should replace the vertical asymptote with a number that approaches the vertical asymptote. Like so. And now there's no problem taking this integral, um, if c is greater than zero, then between c and one, this function is continuous and the fundamental theorem applies. We'll compute the antiderivative. I hope without too much trouble at this point in our careers. And we are going from C to one. And we plug our limits in and subtract. We plug one in here, we get two times one. The square root of one is one. We plug C in there. We get two times the square root of C. And now the square root is continuous. So when you take this limit, you can just plug the limit in and we get a finite number two. So this integral exists and it equals a two. When an integral of this type, an improper integral exists, we say it converges. Let's investigate another um, improper integral. Once again, it's this lower limit that makes it improper we have a division by zero error at this lower limit. There's a vertical asymptote. So once again, it is the lower limit that gets replaced. Now between C and three, everything's continuous. The only discontinuity occurred at two and C is bigger than two. So the fundamental theorem applies to this integral and assuming that we can take this antiderivative, we can compute this definite integral. Well, we can do that. I don't want to go through all the details, but it's a quick u substitution. 
and we're left with the limit as x approaches to of negative one over x minus two evaluated from C to three. And we'll take three and we'll take C and we'll stick them in and we will then Sorry about that. Careless notation. We will take three and we'll take C and we'll stick them in. And we'll take the limit as C approaches two and we'll see what happens. 3 goes in, 3 minus 2 is 1, negative 1 minus negative 1 over C minus 2. And as C approaches two, well, negative one is just a constant. But this is going to infinity. And negative one plus infinity is infinity. This does not exist. If an improper integral does not exist, we say it diverges.